it's Christy. Merry Christmas. I think it's the perfect day and time to do a box with a Jesus theme. I have uh, three rubber bands around this Operation Christmas Child shoe box, and I can't wait to show you what's inside. If you were doing a shoe box, what plush would you choose? It's everything should be pointing to Jesus. Did you say a lamb? That's one good decision because that's what we said. And if you said something else, I'm sure that's fine too. But this beautiful plush lamb is the wow to toy, the stuffed toy, the um, star. Uh, as we think about Jesus, the lamb of God. Yes, oh, it's so soft and plush. And everything else in this shoe box points to Jesus too. So let's get to it. There's a lot in here. I love, I'll just take this first, this out first. It is a bag with a lot of wooden items that are designed for toddlers. They have it's like screws that go in and you can twist them around. There's a little screwdriver, bolts, let's see. I think the screwdriver might be loose in the bag. But anyway, what do you think all of these fun wooden tools have to do with a Jesus box? If you said Jesus was a carpenter, then that's the same thing that we were thinking. So these fun wood toys go great for a shoebox that has a Jesus theme. Okay, so there's some more. What about, we like to have cars or rolling toys in our shoe boxes. This one is very unique. I love that it has a little lion inside the big lion and it's wood and there's another lion wooden toy in here, a puzzle. So what does the lion theme have to do with Jesus? If you said that Jesus is a lion of Judah, then you're thinking along the same lines as we are. And how about a cup? How can a cup remind us of Jesus? Did you think of the Samaritan woman when he said to her that whoever drinks from me shall thirst no more? So that's the cup and how it connects to Jesus. Here's another Lion of Judah. I love these hacky sack lions, super cute. And it's stuffed with cotton so it doesn't have any trouble getting over the border. And socks. Is there some place in the Bible that you can think of with Jesus and feet involved. What about the disciples when he washed their feet? That's what reminds me of Jesus in the, for this box when I look at the socks. And what about underwear? How can underwear in any way relate to Jesus? Well, we are to clothe ourselves with the armor of God. So think about um, all the different parts of your clothes and how that relates to Jesus and protecting ourselves with spiritual warfare from spiritual attack. Um, that can be what the underwear represents. Okay, so here are some special items that point to Jesus' birth. Three beautiful wooden peg dolls that Michelle painted. I love them so much, and I think this little boy will have fun playing with those. And again, for his birth, what could this horn, this wooden horn, point to? Maybe when the shepherds were out in their fields and the angels sang, I can imagine a trumpet blowing too during that night. Screwdriver to go along with the carpenter kit. Jesus was a carpenter, and then um, his father was a carpenter. I was researching it a little bit for this box, so that was 
interesting to know that until he started um, calling his disciples, he was a carpenter. And then here we have the school supplies. There's a really big pencil sharpener here, half composition book, and this is his pencils and scissors and ruler and eraser, big eraser. What does this have to do with Jesus? How about education? Did Jesus get an education? He was, um, do you remember when he was 12 years old? If you've read uh, that part of the Bible where Jesus went and he was teaching, his parents were looking for him, he was 12. He had come in because of his coming of age uh, in the Jew Jewish tradition. He, um, it was time for him to become a man. And so um, he stayed, he told his parents that he was about his father's business. But at that point he was teaching in the synagogue. So before that he was a student and after that, then he became the teacher. So both of those, the teacher and the student um, can connect to the school supplies. What about a flashlight? How does that have to do with Jesus? Jesus is the light of the world. Here's some more connecting pieces for the carpenter tools. What about the tote bag, the beautiful tote bag that Michelle made? How can that possibly connect to Jesus? What about Jesus bears our burdens? Jesus bears our burdens. The weight of sin is heavy, so he bears the burdens for us. So here we have um, a beautiful toddler tote that can remind us of Jesus. I love that. Thank you, Michelle, for making it. And then we have the star rattle that Michelle made. I love this so much, and it can remind us of the star of Bethlehem that the wise men followed. And then here is a spoon. So we can think about eating when we think of a spoon. So how is eating portrayed connected to Jesus in the Bible? Hmm. We already talked about the water and the woman at the well eating. Jesus is our food. We can talk about um, Jesus and eating. Oh, I'm going to come back to it because I lost it. But Jesus... Oh, feeds us through his word. I got it. Living word. Jesus feeds us through the living word. I love that. And then the toothbrush. Michelle said, I said, Michelle, what can we say for the toothbrush? And she said, think of Jesus when he said, let the little children come to me. I think he was smiling. So even though they probably used sticks back then to, to clean their teeth, a toothbrush connected to a smile of Jesus calling the little children to come to him. I like that connection. How about crayons, colors, um, the rainbow. Did you know Jesus is the creator, part of the Trinity? We have Father, Spirit, Son, and um, Jesus. Do you remember after the flood God said he would not flood the whole earth again. I just think of the rainbow, and these remind me of that, and Jesus made the rainbow. How about the swaddling clothes here that we have a very beautiful minky lovey. The swaddling clothes, or is are these clothes fit for a king? I do love this pattern and the and the bumps and the gold the royal color i have to think about that this is so soft and wonderful not at all like the material that jesus had in his crib when he was um, born actually it was the trough of animals where he was laid and this is very representation of the king that he would become, king of kings, Jesus. And speaking of kings, here's the crown that Michelle made to 
to tie on this little boy's head to remind him that Jesus is the King of Kings. Oh, here's another piece to our carpenter set. And here's the washcloth. Again, it can remind us of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Also, Jesus washes away our sins. And last but not least, a bandana. It's a little bit rough, more like the swaddling clothes that Jesus was wrapped in when he was laid in a manger in Bethlehem. So that brings us to the end of this box. Let me know if you might make a Jesus box or if you were able to guess some of these things that I pulled out of the box. It was really fun to make this box and I just, I love the focus on Jesus and I pray that the child will really know Jesus as his savior when he hears about Jesus at the Operation Christmas Child event. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And bye for now.